Yes, let's go in here. Oh god! <laughs> Hello, um, Jack Frost or whoever you are. <sighs> that, let me just uh, reset the ROM. How do you reset the ROM? I can't remember. Here it is. And try the other game. Because that was really boring. There was honestly nothing to that game at all. Uh, let's try my pet school. If it will work. There we go. Exactly the same. Listen to this crazy music. What is this about? Someone's going crazy on that electronic keyboard. Oh god, the same ugly person. Okay, let's be a guy this time. And wear that terrible Hawaiian shirt. Klaus. Uh, Klaus sounds like a good name for him. But not good enough. I'll call him... Let's call him an appropriate name. Let's call him Clump. <laughs> oh, okay. That cat looks like he sees some shit. <laughs> Look at him. Look at the cat. His eyes have been stretched out and everything, and that dog is seriously scaring me. It looks like it's going to eat my soul. Which animal do you want to start with? Rodents? A dog and a cat? A cat or a dog? Um, I'm gonna start with a the dog. They're nice and easy. Welcome to your animal school. Oh, voices! A tutorial will show you how the animal school works. Touch the event button to display it. Okay. Oh, oh! I know what this is. I know what this is. I've I've played a game that's um by the same company. End the day by going to your bed. Let's cook this in it. Animal school building. The large building in the middle is the main building in your animal school. You have an office and a storeroom where you can store all the things you need for the animals. There is a fenced-in training area opposite the main building. That's where you can practice with your animals. Okay. So I could just get, get the voiced tutorials if I do storage. Well, the one I need to do, I need to see my... Oh, I've got Euros. Wait, this is French? I've got Euros. Right, I'm going to run over and see how my animals are doing. I have no idea where the dogs are kept. Presumably in the small building over here. Because I doubt they'll be in a meadow. Is there anybody in here? Any little animals? I can't go in the building. And it doesn't give me any options. No brushing or anything. So I presume there's no animals there. So, uh, are they in the meadow? Maybe they're in my house all along. I don't know where the dog is. To the town. That's presumably where I buy things. Walk in here. There's no one in this meadow. Probably back at my house. That's where you keep dogs, right? <laughs> I'm thinking how terrible this game is. I thought it would be in some cage somewhere outside, but maybe not. Because I doubt it's in the meadow, so it's got to be in my house, right? But where is it? Where is the doggy? Honestly, where is the dogs? Your first client is arriving with an animal for you to train. Meet him at the intersection so he can hand over his animal to you. Oh. <laughs> Probably should have read that. Okay. I'm at the intersection. Okay. Oh wait, maybe that not that intersection, maybe this intersection. On the left. Yeah, parking lot. You'll be here. To the exams. The proper pet school. Must learn how to respond to your name. 
Can you help me? Okay, oh, that's how we get the dog, okay. Oh, <laughs> Bertha's got a chain around him and everything. Oh, he's got a lack of love. Okay, maybe I can love him up. <laughs> Calming the animal. The gauges in the upper screen indicate the animal's condition. The gauge with the heart is very low. That means the animal's level of trust is too low. Use the open hand icon to stroke the animal until the gauge is full. Where's this open hand thing? Where's this open hand? I don't see any open hand symbol. Maybe I need to take him to the training house thing over here, because that had some symbols on it when I went close. So maybe I have to go over there with the dog. Let's uh, boop -a doop boop boop. Yes, this is what we do. Care. Care. I want to care for the dog. How do I... How do I... How do I do it? It won't let me. Oh, I have to do that to select the dog. Okay. Pet. Okay, I have to drag it from there and then drag it over the dog. And the dog just has no reaction at all. <laughs> it's like one of those really crappy educational PC games, this is. Ported to the DS. And in every single pet game we ever play, in the way, they, uh, the way to make an animal trust you is to just stroke it a ton of times. That does not happen in real life. <laughs> in real life, if an animal didn't trust you and you started petting it at random, it would bite you. Okay, so that's good. We're done here. Hurrah! Now we click on... How do we get back to me? The animal is now in its new lodgings. If you want to take the animal somewhere else later on, you can put it in transport mode using the transport icon in the menu. Okay. So that's how I interacted with it. I put it in the... I put it in the bot in the thing. Okay. You will of course need food for the animals in your care, but your storeroom is currently empty. Go into town to buy food from the merchant. Make sure you buy the right food for your animal guest. Okay. I love the loading screen. Dot dot dot. <laughs> it looks like the tutorial won't let us go on and, until we do exactly what it says, so we're just gonna have to do what it tells us to. Oh wait, we have to go. We have to go to town, which is down here. To the town. Let's go. All right. Where is the food shop, though? Is this a food shop? Food store. Yes. Let's go in here. Oh God. <laughs> Hello, um, Jack Frost, or whoever you are. Wait. We need dog food. Small animal food, no. Bird food, no. Cat food, no. Dog food, yes. This is what we want. Quality, uh, blah, blah, blah. we better just get the normal stuff. Dog food. And oh, I'm gonna buy ten of them. Make sure we're prepared. Boom. Right. Now we rush off. Back to see our animal. Now what? When you buy food from the merchant, it will be delivered directly to your home. If you're in the stable, you can tap the hand icon to switch to the care mode and feed your animal. Okay. So I guess now I have to feed him? What's it tell me to do next? Oh, that's a proper picture! Okay. Animal Trainer 1. Whether, inspe whether inspectively the canine sleuth is on trial of you villains or sniffing out clues, he's always working hard, but training the animal stars is a job that is equally hard, though greatly rewarding. Although animal trainers tend to stay out of the limelight, they have a close relationship with four-legged performers and real dream job. It is also his dream to become an animal trainer, but this dream is not so easy to make a reality as an animal trainer is still not recognised as a qualified profession. So would-be trainers have to find a suitable apprenticeship. After many approaches to Kitty Leader and a knowledge renowned animal trainer, Ulrich has managed to secure one of the coveted positions. 
with her. Uh, all right, and the animals must now get to know each other. Well, in initially, Lulu will look after the animals and study their behaviour. As she, why, why am I reading a story? She must get to um, intimately know the personality of each animal. She will look at later on. Uh, is it inquisitive, loving, lazy, cheeky, timid, playful? The character of each animal plays a significant role in its training. It's particularly important for the outset to establish a strong relationship with the animal you're working with. Uh, but it's a vast amount of work gets for each day. Kitty owns 14 dogs, which must be trained, locked after, fed, and walked daily. Taking care of animals strengthens the bond between trainer and animal, also enables you to grow closer. Uh, animal state of health, because only... Yeah, that's not important. I guess it's not telling us anything else, then. Okay. Yep, the tutorial's over. Uh, <laughs> okay, it hasn't answered almost everything. <laughs> so, this is great. Well, can I care? Care. Um, I mean, I can't even see the condition of the dog. Oh, there we go. What does this one on the top mean? Does it mean hygiene? No. Oh, I think it means time till it goes home. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay, because it is getting higher over time. Okay, okay, that's... It's fine for food for now, so I'm just going to rush off home and see what is in my house. What's in my bookshelf? Training stuff, I don't want to read them again. This music is bloody manic. <laughs> there really has no reason to be like this, this music. I can go to my bed and end the day. What happens if I use my computer? What we got here? Can you train my animal? Um, yes. <laughs> That's a request. Upgrades. A uh, horse, young animal, small animal, parrot, cat, dog. So I can't get that. Different kinds of educator. Uh, I don't really know how that works because I pressed the tick and it didn't seem to do anything. So. Maybe I can look after another animal if I just... Because I did see to tick something off. So maybe if I go to the parking lot, I'll have another one. Yep. Muddy must learn to respond to its name. So it's the same thing, is it? Yep. No love. That's all. Okay. It needs to learn trust by someone entirely different being nicer to it. Yeah, it does not that work, work that way. <laughs> Excuse me. switch. There we go. Now Muddy can be taken care of. Pet, pet, pet. Pet, pet, pet. Pet that ass. Pet that ass. Pet that ass. Apparently he likes it. <laughs> oh god, this is the eating soul dog. Muddy, the dog of souls. It looks like it's made out of cardboard or poop. <laughs> That's not a good texture. None of this is well textured or made in any way. Okay, Bertha. That's quite a name. Okay, we'll see what we got for you. I can brush you a bit. Brushy, 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 brushy. Oh, this music is not at all fitting. <laughs> Food. Here. There he goes, he's eating the food. Good. Right. And that's it. That's all we got to do. But how do I select any other... How do I select any other animal in my care? Oh, he's over here. Okay. It's a bit weird, but 
I'm getting the hang of it. These kind of games are incredibly slow paced, so it will take a while for us to get anywhere. So and I don't think you really need to see it because it is exactly as it looks. Everything works exactly the same, you just do continue doing it forever and ever. <laughs> Basically. Would you like to end the day? Yes, I don't know what ending the day does. Speeds up the time? Because it doesn't seem like I need to do that. So, I'm going to go back and see what their condition is now. Maybe they needed sleep? I don't know. Right, what's your condition? Yeah, it just passes the time. Okay. Oh, that's overall health on the top, I see. Right, you need care. So I'm going to go down here, I'm going to feed you. Numb. Food? Good. Need a... You need a good brush. Which takes forever to go up, probably because it's a low quality brush. Uh, probably need a higher quality brush to make it to go up higher. Go up faster. But oh my god is this slow. This whole game is slow. It's so boring. <laughs> That is the main thing to take away from this game. Boring. If you actually enjoy this game, then you need to get better things in your life. <laughs> I mean, I feel sorry for anyone who felt like they needed to play this game all the way through to give like a tutor walkthrough or something online. Because honestly, that's just gonna... Uh, <laughs> I, I would never do that. Despite me having all the time in the world, <laughs> I would not do that, ever. Right, let's have a look at you. You need feeding, because of course you do. Fair enough. I can do it from over here. I don't even need to. being a bit awkward. There we go. This music is not at all fitting either. <laughs> A lot of this game is just waiting around for their condition to go down so you can keep it up again. It's like if you were, it's like in uh, Big Brother, if you saw Big Brother recently, where they had those hourglasses and they just had to sit there and stare at the hourglasses and then when they uh, almost poured all the way over through one end they had to turn them round so they could carry on. It's like that, but the game. <laughs> That's what it is. That dog's biting her fingers! <laughs> that dog's biting her! That's a perfect picture! <laughs> I'm not reading that. <laughs> and maybe I can give him some... Uh, is there any medicine I can give him? Maybe he needs a run around. I'll give him a bit of a run around. Give him a bit. Yeah, we're gonna run him around a bit. Oh, that's him. Is that bringing his bar up? I think it might be. Right, let's go to the exams. No, 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 no. That's not where I intended to go. Dog's in my way. <laughs> if I go up and right, can I take him for a walk in the countryside or something? Go up here. No, this is to the town. I don't want to take the dog to the town. Oh, so that is, is the only thing you can do is go to the town? There's no walk I can take him? I mean, at least the horse place had somewhere I could walk them. To the film set? Why is there a film set? What's that good to do with a, with a pet school? Maybe you have to film them to get them hired or something. I don't know. Oh, 
Well, this is officially the most boring thing I've ever played. And so... <laughs> well, whatever. I think that's enough of that. You get the gist. When you go on the computer, you get upgrades, you can do more animals. It's literally just the same exact thing, except more sprites. And that's that. Uh, so, thank you for watching. This is awesome. See you again next time, where I'll be trying another bargaining game. See ya!